Good morning. The hymn this morning is number 728. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our mighty God is the Lord. Come and let us adore him. Come ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Our mighty God is the Lord. Come let us adore him. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low, let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. Mighty God of the Lord, come let us adore him. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. And I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Almighty God of the Lord, come let us adore him. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Almighty God is the Lord. Come, let us adore him. Hymn 728. O God, beyond all praises, we worship you today and sing the love amazing that songs cannot repay. We, we can only wonder at every great you send, at blessings without number, and let us see it without end. We lift our hearts before you and wait upon your art word. We honour and adore you, our great and mighty Lord. The power of earthly splendour in hell must slowly die. Its fragile bloom surrender to you, the Lord Most High. His vision in our heart, but eternal seed is sown. O oh, small immortal day, in heaven's heart and grow. O oh, Christ, the man from heaven, from death has set us free, and we through him are given the final victory. There he so precious Savior, accept the love we bring, that we who know your favour may serve you as your king. And where will tomorrow be filled with good or ill, we'll triumph through our sorrow and rise to bless you still. To marvel at your beauty and glory at your ways, and make a joyful duty our sacrifice of praise. I will sing to you, O Lord, and I will walk in the way of perfection. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord. I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will hate the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. And false-hearted must keep her far away, the wicked I disown. I look to the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection shall be my friend.
Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will sing to you, O Lord. I will walk in the way of perfection. O Lord, do not withdraw your favour from us. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and worthy of praise, and your name is glorified for ever. For your name's sake, do not give us up utterly, and do not break your covenant. have become fewer than any nation and are brought low to stay in all the world because of our sins. And at the same time, there is no prince or prophet or leader, no burnt offering or sacrifice or oblation or incense, no place to make an offering before you or to find mercy. Such may our sacrifice be in your sight this day, and may we wholly follow you, for there will be no shame for those who trust in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord, do not withdraw your favour from us. I will sing a new song to you, O oh God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my song, Lord, my saviour. My shield. Lord, what is man that you care for him, mortal man that you keep him in mind, man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Reach down from heaven and save me, draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raged in perjury. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I will sing a new song to you, O God. <coughs> a reading from the prophet Isaiah. O come to the water, all you who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost, wine and milk. Hear my cry, Lord, for I hope in your word. I rise before dawn and call for help. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them.
a saviour to free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, for his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Increase in us, Lord, your gift of faith, so that the praise we offer you may ever yield its fruit from heaven. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. We say the prayer for priests. Eternal Father, we thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give thanks to those priests who have brought us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all, the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist, honor to your Son, Jesus Christ, who calls the apostles to follow him. We ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid to recognize the joy in given their whole life, love, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is the strength of his people. In him, we, his children, live in safety. Save us, Lord, who share your life and give us your blessing. Be our shepherd forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord. Once again, we gather to be the Church of Christ. 
Christ with us as he promised, present in this assembly of his people, in the proclamation of God's word, and in the communion of his body and blood. As we do not have a priest to celebrate Mass today, let us reflect on the word and pray together, and then together share Christ's body and blood, consecrated for us in the previous Mass. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, be truly sorry for them. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have raised sin in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever blessed, for the angels of sickness, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray to God, whose fatherly love keeps us safe. God of the universe, we worship you as Lord. God, ever close to us, we rejoice to call you Father. From this world's uncertainty, we look to your covenant. Keep us one in your peace and secure in your love. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. A reading from the second book of the Kings. Semacherim, king of the Assyrians, sent messengers to Hesiarch, saying, Tell this to Hesiarch, king of Judah. Do not let your God, on whom you are relying, deceive you when he says Jerusalem shall not fall into the power of the king of Assyria. You have learned by now what the kings of Assyria have done in every country, putting them all under the ban. Are you likely to be spared? Hezekiah took the letter from the hands of the messenger and read it. He then went up to the temple of the Lord and spread it out before the Lord. Hezekiah said this prayer in the presence of the Lord Lord of hosts, King of Israel, enthroned in the cherubims, you alone are God of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. Give ear, Lord, and listen. Open your eyes, Lord, and see. Hear the words of Samacherim, who has sent to insult the living God. It is true, Lord, that the kings of Assyria have exterminated all the nations. They have thrown their gods in the fire, for these were not gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone, and hence they have destroyed them. But now, Lord our God, save us from his hand, I pray you, and let all the kingdoms of the earth know that you alone are the God, Lord. And Isaiah, son of Amos, sent to Hezekiah, the Lord, the God of Israel, he said, says this, I have heard the prayer you have addressed to me about Serechim, king of Assyria. Here is the oracle that the Lord has pronounced against him. She despises you, she scorns you, the virgin daughter of Zion. She tosses her head behind you, the daughter of Jerusalem. A remnant shall go out from Jerusalem, 
and survivors from Mount Zion. The jealous love of the God of the Lord of hosts shall accomplish this. This then is what the Lord says about the king of Assyria. He will not enter this city. He will let fly no arrows against it, confront it with no shield, throw it no earthwork against it. By the road that he came on, he will return. He shall not enter this city. It is the Lord who speaks. I will protect this city and save it for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David. That same night, the angel of the Lord went out and struck down 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. Sereshiram struck camp and left. He returned home and stayed in Nineveh. The word of the Lord. God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city. God in the midst of his citadels has shown himself its stronghold. God upholds his city forever. O oh God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O oh God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. God upholds this city forever. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls in front of pigs, or they might trample them and then turn on you and tear you to pieces. So always treat others as you would like them to treat you. That is the meaning of the law and of the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate, since the road that leads to perdition is wide and spacious, and many take it, but it is a narrow gate and a hard road that leads to life, and only a few can find it. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus is in good company when he taught, so whatever you wish that men should do to you, do so to them, for that is the will of the prophets. For the Greek philosophers taught along similar lines, for example, avoid doing what you would blame others for doing, Thales. Do not do to others what would anger you if done to, but to others by you, Socrates. What, what thou avoidest suffers thyself seek not to impose on others. Epictetus. We could call this teaching ethics of reciprocity. We treat others how we want them to be treated. We deal with others how we want to be dealt with. We love and care for others how we would want to be loved and cared for ourselves. Jesus' teaching wasn't reinventing the wheel. He was building on a teaching already incorporated into natural law. It is within our nature and our own natural powers to treat others well, to be kind, 
respectful, and well-mannered. The law and the prophets pointed to this, and in Jesus' mind, this is our way of behaving or living in a summation of the entire law of the prophets. However, we are to go beyond the law of the prophets. We are to witness to life in the spirit, which is life of power and grace, which goes far beyond the natural law. We are to witness to, to a quality of love which the world seldom sees. We are to witness the kind of love which melts hearts, moves mountains, and overcomes a manner of hatred and evil. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> if we simply do to others what we would have them do to us, what reward should we expect? The way of love is the way of the Spirit. It is the narrow and small door through which we are called to enter the kingdom of heaven. In fact, this entrance is so small and narrow that it can only be passed by the humble and on our knees in humble dependence on God. The world is crying out for this kind of witness to life of love. Lord Jesus, may I love and serve generously and with all my heart, for when I love and serve others, I serve you. We now ask Our Lady to join her prayers with ours as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for the needs of the church and the world. The response is Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Our sufferings being acceptance. Acceptance brings hope, and our hope will not deceive us, for the Spirit has been poured into our hearts. It is through the same Spirit that we pray. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Help us to realize that our troubles are slight and short-lived. They are as nothing compared with the joy we shall have when we reach our home with you. Stay with us, Lord, in our journey. Come to the lonely, the unloved, those without friends. Show them your love and help them to care for their brothers and sisters. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Take away our pride, temper our anger. May we follow you in your gentleness. 
May you make us humble of heart. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Give us the fullness of your spirit, the spirit of sonship. Make our love for each other generous and sincere. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Merciful God, hear the prayers of your people. Give us what we need to follow faithfully the cause of the gospel. We make this prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Savior, sanctify my person, body of Christ, be thou my saving gift, blood of my Savior, save me from the time, wash me with water, flowing from thy son, strength and attack, may thy passion be, O blessed Jesus, hear and answer me, feed in thy wounds, Lord, hide and shelter me, so shall I now. God and defend me from the Roman life. In death and death opens, may the only thine call me in the company of my heart, where I can be here with my saints.